All right, another MCRIT co-video. See what I did there? See what I did there? Okay, so we, we got a request for the triple C. Um, and the first C is confer. You're going to talk to your partner because it's best done with a partner about the entire procedure, who's going to do what, et cetera, et cetera. And now the second C is clamping. Now, the, the time you need to clamp is when you're going to have a circuit break between your viral filter and the ET tube. If you have to have a circuit break uh, more proximal, like for instance, you wanted to put an end tidal CO2 right here, then you don't need to clamp the tube. The viral filter is your clamp. You will do the second part I'm going to talk about, but you don't need to clamp the ET tube. But let's say we wanted to put an inline suction here between the viral filter and the and the tracheal tube. Um, so what you're going to do is put some tape on the ET tube to protect it. This You're doing this while everything is still hooked up, so it's perfectly safe to go over there and put that tape on. And that could stay there. It doesn't have to come off. You need a clamp. Now... It could be disposable, it could be reusable, you could scrub it down afterwards, or you could uh, send it down to your central sterile at your hospital, but uh, it's got to be a clamp that actually clamps. Now, what do I mean here? If you take a vascular clamp and go to clamp the ET, it's not going to actually occlude it. It's made to not destroy the aorta, so make sure the clamp you have is actually a clamp meant to really squeeze down on structures, so not a vascular clamp. What you want is something like this, just your standard run-of-the-mill hemostat. All right, and so you need one of those, and then you your partner would breathe, and now the idea is we're going to clamp, we're going to disconnect the ventilator. Now, if your vent has standby, you could use that if you know how to make that function. The safest way for me is to just disconnect the inspiratory limb of the ventilator, so that's what we're going to do in this case. So I conferred with my partner. My hands are going to be both my partner and me just for the purpose of this video. What we're going to do is you're going to clamp, and then I'm going to pull the inspiratory limb, and then you're going to break the ET tube and viral filter. You're going to put the suction there. You're going to tell me. I'm going to hook the vent back up, and then you're going to unclamp. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. So we've done our C confer. Now we're going to do our C clamp. So hard clamp of the ET tube. Pull off the inspiratory limb. So that's now disconnected. Okay, you could you could break the circuit. So they would break the circuit. They would put the inline in. And now this is always a good time. Anything ventilator-wise, you get a push and twist. And that's what locks this stuff in. So that locked in this piece right here. I'd put the inline in, push and twist, and then I'd put this back on to the inline, push and twist. All right, you could rehook up the vent. Vent now rehooked up. All right, unclamp. Now make sure the ET tube regains its former configuration. You don't want it to stay clamped even though you took the clamp off. All right, let's just for shits and giggles, take a look. Did we mar the tube? ET tube looks good. All right, any questions, send them to me. Otherwise, there you go, triple C for vent breaks. Uh, just for fun, if you had to put in the uh, end title, for instance, here, proximal to the viral guard, what you do is this is your clamp, you just disconnect your inspiratory limb, pop in your end title there, put this back on, rehook up the vent. That's belt and suspenders. You probably didn't even need to do that, but just in case anything leaked past this viral filter, it's now not going to be spewed into your face as you go to put the end title there because you disconnected the ventilator.